Hello and welcome back to part 7 of my tutorial. In this one we're going to be covering uh, making the player, uh, making the game restart when the player dies and also we're going to add in those sound effects that we got in uh, episode 1. Uh, so that we, when we fire we get some actual feedback and when we explode the asteroids we get some feedback from that with audio too. The first part of this tutorial is really easy. Um, all we need to do, because earlier on when we were talking about signals, we had this um, on player area entered. Uh, because we've already got this, it's really simple. Instead of printing out ouch, what we can simply do is just reload the current scene. And uh, you do that with uh, get tree, which gets the, uh, the game as tree. And then you just type in uh, reload current scene. This is one of the reasons why I'm starting to really like it though. I really wish um, if you do this in Unity it's a significantly longer line just to load uh, the current scene. You'd think that that would be an easy thing. but So when you test this, what you'll find is that uh, as you hit one of the asteroids the whole game restarts and all 10 spawn again. Uh, you might want to, while you're testing this, you might want to just put a little comment before this to disable it. Um, you'll need to leave the word pass underneath that so that there's something inside this function otherwise uh, it will get a bit grumpy with you. But by doing that you'll be able to kind of like switch this back on when you want to um, build it or release it to someone to play. Um, but for testing it's probably not great to have to constantly restart. So I'll leave that as it is but we know it's there. And let's move on to the next bit which is audio. So we'll start with the laser sound. It's a lot simpler than it really sounds. Um, in, if you look at our game script, um, inside of our game script is where we added the, um, the ability to shoot. Remember the reason was because we wanted to have the bullets become child, children of the main game. Um, so I figure it makes sense that we put the, the audio player there too. So in order to have an audio player, we're just going to add um, a new child node to the game. Um, there's a couple of different options in here. Um, if you search for audio, there's an audio stream player which just plays a sound, and then there's the one that plays it um, with position and volume based on its uh, position to the listener. Um, we just want old school arcade style, so we're just going to go with a standard audio stream player. So we're going to add this one to our um, to our game. So the audio stream player, I'm just going to rename this because I like to keep things organized. So I'm going to call this uh, laser sound. And um, then we need to make sure that we filled out the actual sound. So over on the right hand side in the inspector, there's a stream um, currently is empty. So I'm going to take my laser sound. I'm just going to drag and drop it onto here. The rest of the values can kind of stay as default. We don't want it to be playing at the start uh, and we don't want it to auto play when it's uh, spawned in. So um, we want to keep those as they are um, and leave everything else as it is. All we need to do now is to change the uh, code slightly so that um, our game actually plays it um, in the right place in our code. If you notice in your code here we have this um, is action just pressed. So this is where we actually want to play that sound. So I'm just going to put it at the end of here. I'm going to use this uh, dollar sign to look down in the tree to uh, from the game down into things. So I can see the laser sounds already there. And um, strangely enough, the uh, dot play function is all that's required in order for it to play. So if we uh, just test this, we should see that as we hit the space bar, we get the sound coming out. So that was the easy one. Um, to do the asteroid sound, it's going to be slightly more difficult. Um, if you think, uh, if you think about it, what you could, what you think you could do is that you could um, put the asteroid scene um, and add a, a sound, an explosion sound, to this. However, um, what happens is um, when the asteroids actually hit, um, in that same frame, effectively, or the next frame on, this object is destroyed along with the thing that's playing the sound, so you wouldn't actually hear the sound. So, have a little think about how you might solve this, um, but the bottom line is we need to try and, uh, and work out a better way to do it. And as always, there's uh, many different ways to do it. We could actually um, have this asteroid spawn in um, an explosion, and the explosion could be the thing that plays the sound. Um, the other option that I am um, going to show you is we're going to use a custom signal. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to tell the game that the asteroid has been destroyed. Because um, we've 
we know it's been destroyed because we found out that it's been hit by a bullet and um, and then we're going to leave it up to the game to play the sound. It also solves um, some other issues or some other problems that we might have later on in that it'll also allow us to hook up maybe um, the scoring which should be part of the game not part of the asteroid and uh, potentially hook up um, a restart in levels when you've killed all of the asteroids. Um, I'll have a think about that and see if I want to do it. So let's get started. To make um, a custom signal, um, all you need to do is, I'm actually going to write this in, I'm going to write custom signal. And we're going to, um, you just give it a, a type of um, so signal, so you just say signal and then you give it the name of the signal. And I'm going to call this um, asteroid uh, destroyed. Um, and that is it. Uh, this creates the custom signal. Let's give myself some space here. And uh, all we need to do in order to um, emit that signal is we just do um, um, sorry, emit signal and then the name of the signal and it, we called ours asteroid destroyed. So it's just like that. So this custom signal, I can actually take parameters and all sorts. It's a very smart way of doing this. So um, all we're doing right now is we're saying that the asteroid is destroyed. We could in fact say where we're destroyed and have the game spawn in um, explosions or the game spawn in, um, if we pass a position, we could have the game spawn in the uh, small rocks as well. But we'll keep the video um, short-ish and we'll get on to making this, uh, this custom signal work. So if we go back to the uh, game, what you'll see is that we have this um, this laser sound and uh, we're going to add the other um, audio stream player and rename this one, F2, uh, rename this to Explosion Sound. I hope I spelled that correctly. Here we go. Um, explosion Sound so that the game can actually do it. And all we really need to do is have the game listen to um, or listen for that custom signal. So as you know, we've um, we spawned in each of the asteroids from the game. So this is a handy place to hook up that um, custom uh, signal that we've just used. And the way you do this uh, in code to hook up the signals is uh, very simple. So I'll just say um, new asteroid dot connect, and that allows me to connect any one of the many many uh, signals as we've done before. Um, to anything that I like in code. So I've got the asteroid destroyed. I can just choose that one. I'm going to connect it to myself, to um, this game script, and I'm going to connect it to um, a function that I haven't written yet. So I'm just going to call it um, underscore on asteroid destroyed. Did I spell that rightly? Destroyed. There we go. And um, So they, um, I haven't written this yet, but I'm about to. So so I don't want to get it wrong, I'm just going to copy that and let's go down to the bottom of my code and I'll create that function on asteroid destroyed and right now it doesn't take any parameters um, I'm just going to uh, print um, asteroid destroyed uh, just now, just because I want to make sure that it works before I uh, wreck it with anything else so I should see that when I kill an asteroid I should see this asteroid destroyed um, message comes up so we know that the signal has been connected and that it's working and all I need to do instead of um, printing out asteroid destroyed is actually play that explosion sound I'll quickly check that I did set the explosion sound up oh. I forgot. So the explosion sound, I forgot to add this the actual explosion in, so let's drag that on and leave everything else as default. We don't want it to be playing or autoplay. And then we'll just go to um, play the sound. We need to go down the tree to the explosion sound and choose the play function on it. And that is it. So um, quickly test this, make sure that it works. So, there we go. So every time that we have an explosion, we have the sound play and the laser also plays it. So hopefully this video uh, wasn't too long. I've managed to uh, make the game restart when the player dies and I've managed to add, managed 
to add both the sound effects in for the different events in the game. And we've covered the concept of custom signals too, which is pretty cool. So um, next videos, I've, if you notice, I've added a few more things. So I've got the, um, the camera shake is something I'd like to cover because it looks so cool. Uh, I have um, particles, which I've added in, which would be really good too. And also um, the rocks spawning in um, the small, uh, smaller rocks rather than the big asteroids. And uh, maybe even a score um, at the top of the screen would be really cool. I think the, um, the uh, uh, level progression... I don't know if that's the right word for it, but I think what would be nice is that as the game progresses, as you destroy um, asteroids, we get more and more asteroids appear. Um, I don't know whether we want to do it when um, all 10 are killed, then the level starts with more. Um, it's definitely something that we can um, take a little look at and, and try and improve the gameplay by doing that. What we could also do is have more asteroids appear over time, and that would be slightly easier than having uh, a check for whether they're complete and then spawning more in. Uh, so that's the end of this one. Um, hope you're enjoying the series, and please like and subscribe, and uh, stick with it.